Hey, what's going on? I'm A Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So, Pusha T's latest album is almost dry. It's a star studded affair, boasting guest appearances from the likes of Jay Z, Little Uzi Vert, and Kid Cudi, as well as half and half production from Kanye West and Pharrell. But there was another A list collaboration that Pusha had in mind from the album. In a new interview with GQ, the Virginia Beach veteran revealed he tried to secure a feature from Kendrick Lamar on his almost dry. In fact, K Dot was one of the first artists he reached out to while working on this latest project. King Push and K Dot previously connected connecting on Nostalgia from Push's 2013 debut solo album, My Name Is My Name. However, the pair couldn't find a song that differed enough from their aforementioned collaborations, so Push simply moved on. Despite their inability to diverge from their previous Knots produced collaboration, a second Pusha T and Kendrick Lamar team up would have no doubt upped the excitement for its almost dry, even higher considering the impact that Nostalgia made. Just last month, the song went viral almost a decade after its original release, thanks to a video from Spotify's Dissect podcast, breaking down the hidden numerology in Kendrick guest verse, revealing a clever mathematical pattern behind his sobering coke bars. Kendrick Lamar isn't the only feature Pusha T missed out on. The Good Music MC revealed during his It's Almost Dry listening session in New York City in April that Nas was supposed to be on the end of Hear Me Clearly. While appearing on The Breakfast Club later that month, Pusha explained the plan was to make Nas a surprise feature on the album version of the song, which previously appeared on Nigo's I Know Nigo, but for whatever reason, the collaboration just didn't happen. Now, I saw you said that Nas was supposed to be on Hear Me Clearly. Yes, man. What happened? I don't know, man. I have no clue, What man. you mean? Did he do the verse? No, I guess he didn't. The lack of Kendrick Lamar and Nas appearances hasn't hurt its almost dry success, though. The project debuted atop the Billboard 200 after earning 55,000 album equivalent units in its first week, handing Pusha T his first number one album of his career. Pusha will no doubt be hoping for better luck when it comes to working with Dr. Dre, with whom he recently teased a collaboration after meeting in person. But are you upset that we didn't get another collaboration from Kendrick and Pusha T on this newest album? Are you also upset we didn't get the Nas feature either? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos and subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.